hello team in this video we are going to have a look at yet another rag tool called as super duper dp super duper dp is not really confined to rag or retrieval augmented generation rather it is being played out as an integration layer between your large language models and your databases and the list of databases supported by super duper dp is growing by the day in this video we are going to install it locally then we will use our own custom data and then we will create a rag pipeline integrated with a mongodb and i will just be using a mock mongodb to show you but you can use the same instructions with any database or data store for that matter for example you can use it with sql server with oracle sqlite with even aws s3 which is a um, data store any sort of cloud bucket and there are a lot of integration which i will mention later there are a lot of other features too you can integrate it with local llms with yv llm and also with openai local llm integration is there but i have found it a bit patchy still it works great with openai by the way so we'll be using that of course openai and that is a paid option so you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your api key from there just put in ten dollars and you should be able to get your api key other features which are really cool about it is that it is primarily a python framework for integrating ai models apis and vector search engines directly with your existing databases including hosting of your own models streaming inference and scalable model training fine tuning now if you don't know rag at a very high level in simple words what rag is that it enables you to give context of your own data to large language models for example you have your own enterprise database running in oracle or sql server and it has your own company's data you want to give your users the ability to search through this data with the help of large language models such as openai's gpt4 or llama 3 or whatever so what you do is you grab your data then you convert it into a numerical representation or vector or embeddings then you store those vectors into a vector store it could be the same database where the data is coming from and then from there you create an index on that vector store and then whenever a user asks a query that query is searched through that index to see any similar vectors and then those are augmented together and that whole thing is given to llm the whole thing means the user's query plus your own data then llm is has now more context around your data and it makes more informed response so that is what rag is and this whole thing is called as rag pipeline and that is what super dp brings to the table plus the good thing is that you can integrate it with a lot of stuff then you can even fine tune some of your data your models with it so it is not just a rag pipeline or a rag store or rag integration but a whole framework to uh, not only integrate your ai models with your database but also to build rag pipelines but also to do the inference and even some fine tuning layer okay so enough talk let me take you to my local system where we will be installing it and then using it and i will be installing it in my local jupyter notebook i will start from terminal but before that let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video the gpu and vm which i'm using is vm is ubuntu 22.04 and the gpu is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram i have also conda installed with this version and if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to best compute in video description which you can uh, use and also i will put in a coupon code of 50 percent for which you can get 50 percent discount on range of gpus so let me clear the screen and let me create a conda environment which will keep everything nice simple and separate so let's wait for it it is going to create the conda environment and then it is going to activate it so that is done there okay so next step is to install all the prerequisites which include torch openai super duper db 
and sentence underscore transformers library so let me install them let's wait for it to finish all the prerequisites are done and it will take fair bit of time so be patient please next up the key which you have grabbed from openai's website simply put it in here so let me set up my key and then i will clear the screen i have set up my key next up let's install jupyter notebook and then we will resume our installation in the jupyter notebook so let's wait for it to get installed should not take too long and that is done let's fire up our jupyter notebook it will open it in the browser okay so this is this error is specific to my own operating system ubuntu you might not get this error so let me quickly uninstall and install jar set normalizer because once we install this super duper db it just messes up it so i'm just going to uninstall it and install it and that is going to fix this so let's wait for it to get uninstalled and that is all done let me clear the screen and this should be good now there you go you see so it has opened it in my browser and then click on file new and notebook and let me make it that bit bigger so that we all would be able to see it clearly okay much better now so until here we have created our um, notebook and we have installed all the prerequisites now next up what we need to do is to make sure that we have everything ready so for that i have just ran this requirements uh, command with super duper db and it has put it in all the requirements there are no errors so we are all good let's download a sample data so this sample data is just the documentation of super duper db you can use your own data if you like up to you so i'm just going to go with their data it will be representative of a lot of things so i'm just using as is that is done and now let's set up our database so i'm just going to use a mongo db mock if you have your own mongo db or any database you can use that here you all you would need to do is to just define this db and how can you do this with oracle sql server i will tell you at towards the end of the video where i will show you the documentation but for now we are just using the bongo mock let's wait for it to initialize the bongo db you don't take too long and that is done you see it has created the test instance of mongodb on our local host we can also check it out maybe we'll just print out one record from that database and there you go so this is one record which is so it means that database is created data is loaded so we are good at this point now if you remember i told you that whenever we are creating a rag database we need after the we create a database and load the data we need to create an index a vector index so that is what we are going to do it and this is the syntax in super duper db to create the index and it is same for all the databases so looks a bit longer but very simple so first we are importing all of this stuff here once you have imported this we are just uh, creating the data type then we are specifying our embedding model because in order to convert your text which is already stored in mongodb in order to convert it into vectors or embeddings you need an embedding model so we are just using sentence transformer for it and then you can either use uh, and then we are using this all mini lm model and you can use gpu or cpu up to you so i'm just going to go with this and there's a listener um, for the database and then this is a vector index and we are applying it so let me run it here it takes a bit of a time until it it is static so let's wait for it to come back and that is done and now we have set up our vector index we can now connect this index with an llm in number of ways a simple way to do is with the sequential model where the first part of the sequential model executes a query and provides the result to the llm in second part and then there's a retrieval prompt component that takes a query with a free variable as input which i'm going to show you now so you see this is all it has done it has loaded the model and all that stuff when we ran our index okay so next as i said we need to define our model and use it with this index 
so there you go so in this line what is happening sorry in this line we are importing some of the stuff then we are defining our database and query and then we are getting the output with this small function this is where you are specifying your prompt or question and in this one i'm just going to go with gpt 3.5 turbo because it is less costly you can go with gpt 4.0 if you like and it is going to use our environment variables open eyes api key to run this and this is where we are using the sequential model as i was uh, referring to earlier now let's uh, let me run it it is going to take a bit of a time but not that much so let's execute this one and it has got executed and now we can print it out so for example you can ask questions like tell me about vector index this is your prompt so what will happen it this <clears throat> super duper dp will take your prompt and then it will go into this vector store of mongodb your own data and then from there we already have defined the index of a vector and it is going to search the similar components from there and it is going to return the data so let me run it it's just doing the batches and there you go so it is telling you that what exactly your vector indexes are and this is all coming from the uh, your own database plus the intelligence of the model so this is how you can install and create this whole end-to-end -end rag pipeline with the help of super duper db with many databases and with your own data and now let me show you what sort of integrations are available in which databases and how can you do that if you go into the documentation of super duper db and i will drop the link in video description you will see that these are the integrations with databases available at the moment where for the nosql uh, you have mongodb at the moment and then for sql you have mysql postgres oracle sqlite snowflake DuckDB, clickhouse and for in memory you can just use a pandas library now for example you want to connect mysql so all you need to do you just need to do this just give the uri of your mysql database similarly uri of postgres to connect to postgres database and if you want this sqlite again just give the sqlite one so this is how easy it is to use your database and if you think about it uh, you can connect many databases uh, with different variables and then you can combine the data from different databases in your rag pipeline so sky is the limit i think it is quite flexible and it it allows you to do a lot of things out of the box by simply using this code all of this code you can just go into the, this documentation and read through it so and i will drop the link to this repo in video's description i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching